I have written about Koreans for most of my life. And I've been asked why I write about Koreans. And it seems like such a strange question to me. Because why wouldn't I write about Koreans? <laughs> to me, Koreans are mothers and fathers and daughters and sons, which means Koreans are like us. We are worthy of consideration and reflection. About a year and a half ago, a European journalist interviewed me, and he asked me this question. What are Koreans like? <laughs> what are Koreans like? Now, the journalist meant well. And I work as a journalist sometimes, and I know that we can fumble with our words even though we're supposed to know them better than most. I think he was trying to help Koreans, help us tell our side of the story. So he was asking a writer of Korean ethnicity to explain my tribe. And as you know, if and whenever Korea is discussed in the media, especially in the mainstream news, it is so often about that one young Korean man from the North who is trying to hold on to his power and is taking desperate measures in order to do so. And he does this much in the vein of his father and his grandfather have done. So his story is a story of a dynasty, which means that you know that at its root, it is a story about a family. People around the world who want to see more of Koreans get such a small and dark window. And that is indeed a shame. So, what are Koreans like? I thought about the immensity of this question, the fallacy behind it, and the overwhelming likelihood of falling into stereotypes and answering him. And yet, not to reply would have been rude, because I had spent some time with this journalist, and I knew he was not a bad person. So I answered him. I told him that Koreans like to dance. <laughs> dance. I was only half kidding. 